Tom, Tom, yeah, Tom Wolf Arcade Tom in Arcade. Uh, Bridgewater down the, uh, the southwest of England, jun Junction 23 off the M5. Um, and as we know, there's there's not many arcades um, about anymore. Uh, if you get to any, you know, seaside resort, they're just full of. You get the odd gun games, but they're just mainly full of machines that spit out um, paper tokens Tickets. for you to buy yeah. crap from a from a shop. There's no real arcades mm. there anymore. So it was nice to. I took took the family to this arcade. You paid eight pound to get in, um, eight pound each, and and every machine is on is on free play. And you got a couple of pool oh. tables there. And the ah, other that's, that's what I want to hear. So that's what I want to hear. Free play. Yeah, it's it's all that's it. You just pay to get in, and you can stay there as long as you want. Um, and this particular arcade, they've got two floors. So so downstairs is all your big arcades, and then upstairs. You've got a few arcades dotted about and loads of sofas with um, some modern consoles set up and uh, some old retro consoles set up as well. So yeah. it's 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 a good family family place. Um, they they sell snacks and you know your typical chocolate crisps and, and drinks and stuff it's it's a lot better stocked than uh retcon was put it that way <laughs> uh, uh, Ret retcon was a what do you call it it was a done yeah. a village fate that would be old lazies there if we went it, it was yeah. so it's not as if it was it was set up permanently but uh not that yeah. I'm, I'm not not slagging no, it off I've, but you know, i really enjoyed was... retcon um and obviously i've made my views uh apparent about the uh refreshments so hopefully next next year that'll be a little bit better. But, we'll see. <laughs> but um, As I said, yeah, this is if if you ever get down, if you're ever down the southwest, it's not it's not far from Western. Uh, pay this place a visit because I, it, it, it's it's something that we need to keep alive. I don't know how they're going to make huge amounts of money um, because of how electricity's gone up and having these machines on all day, especially arcade machines, uh, they take up a lot of juice. But uh, you take the family there and uh, have a good have good fun. Um, the one, I, I, I checked because when you put this one up, I, I just googled where our nearest one is, and the, apparently for us, there's a place in Farnham. Okay. Um, oh. Which, so yeah, I'm. Uh, it right. looks very it's very it looks very family orientated so i'm a bit i i think i'm gonna have to grab my son so i don't look weird um this is you know it's one of those things but um i think it trust, looks trust, trust me good. if you went on your own you wouldn't look weird because at the end of the day these arcade machines were there when we were growing up mm. so it's it's that huge nostalgia hit isn't it yeah and it's, it's good I, to share. I, I, it's good to share with your kids I, and say, "Look, I just want to mind your Xbox and your PlayStation. This is I've, what we you know play on." Do you know what the funny thing was? Is I, bef the, there was an arcade before um, COVID. I took my son down there and we played arcade games for an afternoon. Yeah, it spent about it. thirty quid. <laughs> thirty quid. It's like, oh my god! I can see why my parents were so aggrieved to to, to fork out money for it. But we um we played a few things. I, I loved gun games. But how much arcade for gun games? How much does it cost to go and see a movie now? It's... For me, it cost, it cost me about £14. Pounds. Well, so, okay. okay. I, but, it's for me. Cause I, I'm... Yeah, for you on your own. But if you're... What I'm saying is... If, oh, you no, no, with my son. Family, for my son. Yeah, but, then but if I take my family, corn, then it's then it's drinks. 30. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's 30 because I've got a pass thing and you yeah. put all this shit in with the pass. Anyway, it looks good. It I'm is. gonna check out this one in. I'll check out this one in Farnham. I might see if I can drag Nigel down there, and we'll do a, a, a video. Yeah, let me know if I can get if I can get him out of the house and, me. and out of his cupboard. I'd like, to, I'd like to join you at that one. That'd be good. I'll I'll send you the things over over WhatsApp, and we'll, we'll have a nose at it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. We've got, we've got, um... and like, comment, and subscribe. Babs Arcade. There you go. Oh, uh, and uh, when you go to his channel, write poo. In his comments. <laughs> Especially Keith. Keith, you're allowed to do it. You can have your own back. Put, put, put Star Wars and then poo. Star Wars. <laughs>